Hi, I'm Andrew Wooster, and I'm the Product Manager for the American Innovations Field Data Collection products. Today I'll be demonstrating a typical installation of a Micromax GPS360 current interrupter. Safety is our top priority. Before beginning this installation, please ensure that you're wearing the proper safety gear and also ensure that your rectifier cabinet is touch safe. The GPS360 has a built-in rechargeable lithium battery and relay. The battery can be used for up to 60 hours of interruption without recharging. Even though it has a battery, it's recommended to use an external power source to power the device to preserve battery life. Possible power sources that can be used to externally power your GPS 360 are the AC taps of your rectifier, a 120 volt AC wall outlet with the included 12 volt DC wall adapter, and a DC battery in the range of 10 to 60 volts DC. The GPS 360 interrupter requires an external power source in the range of either 10 to 60 volts DC or 8 to 42 volts AC. For this installation, we will be using the AC taps of our rectifier to power the GPS 360. Using a voltmeter such as our DVM2130 connected to a Mesa tablet, find two available AC taps to power your GPS 360. Use your DVM leads to locate two AC taps that provide an output voltage at an appropriate level. In this case, these two taps provide an output voltage of approximately 12 volts AC. From this point forward in the installation, please ensure that your rectifier cabinet is powered off. Take the alligator clips from the power cable of the GPS360 interrupter and attach them to the AC taps that were previously identified. Take special care to route cables such that they won't be pinched by the rectifier cabinet door. The GPS360 includes a built-in solid state relay. The interrupter can also be connected to an external relay such as a mercury relay or another solid state relay. For this installation, we will be using the built-in solid state relay of the GPS360. To interrupt the DC output of your rectifier, first, disconnect the DC output cable of the rectifier. After removing the fastener from the DC output cable, detach the DC output cable from the binding post. Then, connect one of the relay cables from the interrupter to the output binding post and secure it with a fastener. Now connect the other interrupter relay cable to the DC output cable of the rectifier using a fastener. We recommend insulating these connections with shrink wrap. If shrink wrap is unavailable, however, you may use electrical tape. Slide the shrink wrap over the connection and secure it in place with a heat gun or other heat source. Now connect the GPS antenna cable to the male SMA connector on the GPS360 interrupter. The GPS antenna of the GPS360 interrupter can be magnetically attached to a metal surface. Route the antenna and its cable through an opening in the rectifier and attach it to a flat metal surface, ensuring that it has a full view of the sky. If a metal surface is unavailable, Glue a flat washer to an appropriate surface and attach the antenna to the flat washer. After all connections have been made, place the GPS360 interrupter in the bottom of the rectifier cabinet. Or you may attach it to one of the inner side walls of the rectifier cabinet using magnets. Take special care to route all cables and connections such that they aren't in contact with the rectifier cabinet or get pinched by the rectifier cabinet doors.